part of the other thing that you need to be doing, those of you who are, who are you know, just starting out or in your, the phase of, of learning, and obviously you are because you're watching this, you need to do ear training, right? You're, you're in jobs right now that maybe some of them are, you're assisting and you think it's a boring job or it's a menial job or whatever. And some of you are engineering, but you still don't, you're not getting it yet. You need to be doing exercises. So essentially, and by this I mean, you need to learn the sonic imprint of the equipment you have. You need to be studying the manuals, any, any information you can about what professionals think about it and how it was made, but also, you know, especially, of course, microphones. So here uh, it lists the microphones and a DI. You know, back in the tape days, we used to have to write down detailed lists of, of how far away the microphone was, which microphone. The serial number of the microphone would be written down as well. All of this information had to be written down because the engineers thought of it all as some sort of sonic imprint, right? And if they like that sonic imprint, they want to be able to get it back. But it's also something that your ear becomes familiar with. And it's easy to demonstrate here when I, when I show you these two microphones. You'll hear the 57. And if you've, if you've worked a lot with, a, with an SM57, you knew that that's what it would, was going to sound like. When I first heard it, I was like, oh, yep, that's SM57. You know, when I heard the, the, what is it, a 421 or something like that, when I heard that, I was like, yep, that, that sounds correct. And that's because my ear remembers that sound. Now, it's been a very long time since I placed a microphone in SM57 in front of a guitar. But it's, again, it's a sonic imprint. Your ear will get used to these things. They will get used to the compressor that you use. Your ear will understand that. And in fact, your ear can even get used to the digital stuff that we use today. You're used to how it reacts. You're used to the speed, all those kinds of things your ear becomes familiar with. And they're the things that you use when you're coming up with an idea on implementing. Bring, oh, let me bring that sound I remember into this particular thing. And that's why myself, my colleagues, can work so fast. We have a, we have a significant toolkit and a sonic um, memory that, that can bring us to things faster. But let's listen a little bit to these two microphones just so I can demonstrate the idea. I'm going to AB between the two. Now that was the 57 by itself. Let's listen to the 121. Simple. You can hear the difference really easily. Let's quickly listen to the DI. Those should all be recognizable things. That should be part of your ear training. You should have been able to hear that in your head before you actually heard that audio track because they are classic representations of what they are. And, and that's something that your ear should get used to. And you should practice. And it does take practice. And a lot of repetition. 